Loa. Uh, I wanted to do a quick video and uh, just make this real quick and concise and straight to the point in reference to how important it is to understand the deeper programs that are beyond uh, the surface layer material realm stuff of um, the flat earth stuff, even the Mandela effect stuff. Um, transhumanism to all this stuff is uh, when activated by the people or the the, the beings or the the uh, mainstream um, psyche um, like I said in previous videos nothing is real until a Roman says it like until the Roman system activates it it's not real so this is why it's so hard for people to still believe that the white supremacy program exists, that white privilege exists, um, because the the power grid, the so-called power grid, the, the very system that is holding up that mindset acts like it doesn't exist. It's acting like it doesn't even matter, like the, the people are OK. People were legally lynched not that long ago. People were not allowed to use the same bathroom not that long ago as other as another race. And and that's the thing. It's not it, it was only the, the only race that was really uh, that it's really focused on was the so-called white race. Because that meant if you were Mexican, if you were Indian, if you were black, if you were um, Japanese, it didn't matter what you were. As long as you weren't white, you were discriminated against. That program did not just die and go away. The civil rights movement and the civil rights um, act and all that shit and voting rights and um, the way and now that we have celebrities on TV and so successful this and successful that that is to distract you from the fact that this shit has not at all changed. This is what I'm trying to tell people when um, they don't realize that there are more important things to focus your energy on your intellect, your passion on. Uh, that are more crucial to this entire um, so-called truth movement or whatever. There are so many things that we could focus on to start to understand how these surface layer things like the flat earth models. This is the, when you when you see it from this perspective, when you see it from the ground level, like people who benefit from the the white supremacy program and the white privilege program they see all this stuff as like secondary it's secondary to them because they've never had to live in the shoes that so-called minorities who are actually the majority of this entire earth plane have had to live in it is an entire an entirely different world there is no empathy or compassion there to the depths of an individual who has had to grow up through that space who has had to fear for their lives from the micro scale to the macro scale simply for existing that is my main point when you start to look at the importance of this entire colonial um, supremacy program existing still to this day still to this day it's going on and these are the little the, these are just some example images of how it exists today these are images that are shown on a regular basis that are repeated that the mainstream media the news image is out there to not only desensitize you to not only trigger fear to not only trigger angst and a reactionary state of mind but also to put your con subconscious mind in its place so to speak in in the in the we have all the power you have to fight back sort of mentality to do whatever it is to make them be more empowered instead of expanding out of the level of consciousness by understanding how the entire system works the defense mechanism to that is to have an entire 
group, an entire collective of people to maintain the understanding or the lack of understanding that this, none of this exists. That this is all secondary. That it's not about race. If you're talking about race and this and that, no. It is out of order when you approach things, so-called truth, from uh, the Pleiades and the Orion this and the Arcturian this and the New Age this and the... Um, and the uh, um, transhumanist that all those spaces are secondary if you are coming from a space of compassion which is the essence of the new age um, distraction it is to say we are all about love and light this is why John Cena was out there talking about it's all about love we're all one people this is America and this is actually the the image that I wanted to show and when I referenced in the last video about that whole America shit this on the left this is America all this on the left that is the true America so when they say America is number one America this America that they are actually talking about the United States they don't give a fuck about Peru when they say that they don't give a fuck about Brazil and Argentina and Chile they don't give a shit about Guatemala and Mexico and and all the islands, uh, Puerto Rico, obviously, they don't care. They don't factor that in because this is a mindset. You have been dominated by a corporation, a control grid, and they utilize the consciously, they say America, but sub, or say America, but subconsciously, um, they are utilizing that energy of these, the entire North American space and the South American space to empower the corporation that is the United States. So consciously you are actually hearing America, but you are consciously also saying that they're talking about the United States. And that's a corporation. And but they empower themselves behind the energy of the Americas, which is actually an energy like Africa, like Af that's an energy, Africa. The peoples of Eurasia, because Europe is not a fucking continent. This is another program that they they made you convince yourself of in school. It did happen to me. I was getting in trouble asking, like, what the fuck is going on with Europe? You're you're telling me the definition of a continent? And then now I'm supposed to act like that definition don't count just because you said whatever about Europe? That's a fucking blatant lie. And I'm five years old. I'm six years old. I'm seven years old. Constantly saying that all through 12th grade. It's still a con all the way past even into college. Past that. Europe is not a continent. But that is the basis. This is how this whole supremacy program works. It has to have you in a state of disconnect with even your own judgment, your own understandings. And the backup to that is the university system. The backup to that is the, 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 the intergenerational programming that we've been consistently bought into on, on, for however many centuries, generations. We can't let it go. Like, even if you speak on it, something's wrong with you. This is why there's so much kickback in, in when I reference uh, how important it is to talk about um, the, the, the mentality, the psychology of these agendas, the psychology of these programs. People, the defense mechanism to that is to turn on the victim program and say, oh, well, you, you, it's not white people are not all bad. I'm like, I'm not fucking talking about that. You are seeing it like that. You are feeling it like that. You are receiving it like that from a race-driven perspective. Because you do not understand the mentality, the psychology of the white supremacy program that I am presenting in this space right now. When I reference it, that is my intent. That is what this content is based upon. It is based upon a true, compassionate understanding that this shit goes back centuries. And if you are getting caught up in the surface layer storylines like the so-called New Age where ain't shit ever been new, 
If you are getting so called caught up in these transhumanistic movements and so caught up in technology and calling that your evolution system, if you're so caught up in the university program and being all so called successful with your bachelor's degree, your one degree of understanding of this entire fucking reality, if you think you're a doctor because you have some doctor degree of one degree of understanding of this reality, that is another separation program that has been given to you by your slave owners. It has been given to you by this corporation who has stolen everything from the land to your psychology, to your kids' psychology, to your grandparents' psychology, to the mentality as a whole, to the collective connection to spirit. It goes from the smallest detail to the bit from the micro to the macro down into the religious understandings of uh, of this whole this image right here. This is why the 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 uh, the Christianity program was sent in to give your power to give your power away, not the essence of the Christ energy, not the essence of connection to spirit and connection to the angels and the understanding of that space, not the essence. I'm talking about the programs, the systematic programs of control that are in some cases, some people can really see that the church is focused on a lot of money. When you can see that, that means that that is a program of sucking of energy, of control. Even beyond that, it is a in-between, it is a middle person between you, the individual, and your most high connection, your spirit as a whole. And once that's just one example, the other programs that are part of that, when you marry them with uh, collective control grids like the white supremacy program, like the control grid, you can see that this is the repetitive program that's out there that that stems all the way back to the religious programming that goes back centuries, the desensitization, the fear mentality to where people will not even understand that this is happening and they will give their entire power away, their entire understandings, connections, everything away in order to just be dormant in a system of control. And we see it every day. Another person gets killed every day. They only televise it during certain time frames. They only get their celebrities to get out and speak about it during certain time frames. They are pulling the triggers. After they pull the trigger, literally, and actually take somebody out on the streets, then the camera is another trigger that gets pulled. And they pull that trigger when they need it because there are all kinds of other people. This is another thing to create this whole black and white grid they're not talking about the native american killings that are going on they're not talking about the brown people killings that are going on not to water down the black lives matter thing but to see that this space is not is not focused directly on uh the black and white the way they say it is that is the program to make you not realize that there is an actual white supremacy program that exists that is affecting the entire collective and goes back centuries. They want people to get in, enraged without intellect. They want people to get enraged without knowledge and understanding of how far back this goes because if you get people enraged without the foundation, then you will have baited them into a war time mentality this is what's happening right now and people are following the steps there are people who are getting more guns more enraged and then you will have people that get, will get more dormant and more desensitized so you'll get the, the they trigger the fear and they trigger the love they play every single angle and the the so-called love with this your medium your, your middle person connected uh, space to your most high and understandings and your power center, your solar plexus, your energy center as a whole. That is shut down when you are just focused on 
something like, oh, well, somebody gets killed. Oh, let's just march, fight the power. Instead of understanding the system as a whole, that's what they want you to. They want you to march. They want you to pray. They want you to forgive. And they want you to continue repeating that cycle. That is the program of control. And the so-called people that it doesn't affect these the, the, the privileged few act like either it doesn't exist or it's not their problem or they don't know what to do. They literally don't know how to address it. And when I bring this stuff up to people who really don't know what to do, please research this stuff. Start speaking about it. It has a different impact when 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 a when a when a white individual, a so-called white individual, starts speaking about white supremacy, it has a different flavor than when it comes from that individual than when it comes from a Mexican and black person or a black person or a Mexican person, whatever. It has a different flavor. It has a different impact. It has a different um, connection with people. This information alone will help people understand how far this program goes. And my main thing is that the more information that you start to inhabit uh, and download into your reality in reference to the realness of what's going on, this, the, real, the, the real truth on the streets, people in the new age community or whatever in this whole yoga space and all that, talking about compassion and love and light. Well, how the fuck are you going to justify any of that kind of mentalities if you are constantly ignoring what is going on on a regular basis, constantly benefiting from the program that is this, this genocidal matrix and not speaking on it, just running away from the actual the actual tone not speaking on it we have to address these issues we have to speak about this stuff we have to go further than um than what what is uh, comfortable for us look into what is uncomfortable for you this 96% acquittal rate acquittal rating for cops and a 93% conviction rate for citizens. There is an actual prison industrial complex that is going on right now. There is a military industrial complex that is going on and running rampant right now. We have the most people locked up in the United States and in the entire fucking earth plane. It is constantly being ignored about what is going on on a regular basis. And people are constantly being distracted by the, the, the program as a whole. And this goes into generations. This is why this is this is why I, I show this image right here. Um, because the, w this is the subconscious um, mind that I'm speaking on, the child mind. The, the innocent mind that just gets information. When you see that flicker rate of the television, this is what I'm talking about. And this image is not for like, oh yeah, like oh, we need to all like, we're all one and live together and all not people who are gonna see it from that perspective. No, I'm, t I'm speaking about children, the mentality of the child. These parents are the ones who install these programs. These generations install these supremacy programs, these privileges, from the micro responses of your own energy when you're walking by somebody who is not of, uh, if you're, if you're so-called white and you have those, those, um, problems with walking by on the same street on the sidewalk as somebody who's not white, which still happens to this day. It's only, it's only like a thing. It's only like not a thing for people, uh, who have a problem with it because they don't think it exists. No, that shit happens every day. I get, I have understanding of this stuff happening to me personally every day, and I'm not the only one. Many people are experiencing this, and only it's not only in your reality. We, you think, if you have a problem with this, you think we're overreacting, only because you don't experience it. You don't know how it feels. You don't know where that shit is rooted because your parents has in, have installed and their grandparents installed in them have installed these privileged supremacy programs 
when they were when you were tiny when you couldn't even speak yet and that's how far back this goes. It goes into beyond what we can see and comprehend right now. I'm talking about the generations, the subconscious mentality, the psychology of the child through the education system, through the military industrial complex, through the prison industrial complex, through the politics, all the way up past and through, through the into the globe model program. All the way into the transhuman, back to the transhumanist movement, that which is just another distraction from people for people to give their power away. This is these are all distractions to give your power away. And people know about this shit. People know 9-11 was full of shit. People knew Vietnam was full of shit. People know all these wars are full of shit, but they can't question their own reality because the people, the, the beings, the system that has generated their reality for them has not only installed a psyche, a state of mind and how they perceive their, re their reality, but has also created these defense mechanisms to combat against other people challenging that reality. That is the deepest program that is going on right now, holding people back from realizing what's going on. This is why they go to war. It's about money. It is about power. It's about control. And if you want to take it into even further into the soul and spirit level, yes, you can go there. It's very much part of this system. Controlling souls, separating you from spirit. Yes, you can go there. That is the power source that drives people to understand the depths of the physical reality. That is what you use to lean on and to, to tap into that infinite space of, of uh, etheric power, etheric space, your soul connection space, connecting with your ancestors, your guides, your angels. That space is, uh, is not quantifiable. It is everywhere. And you can always call, call upon that. But if you utilize it only, if you use it on a regular basis to focus your reality as your evolutionary process and not look at what the physical reality is also going on, that is a separation right there. And that is what the New Age movement and transhumanism movement is all focused on. This is why they focus so much on the secret space program. This is why they focus so much on the alien agenda. It's why they focus so much on technology. It's why the flat earth community is always focusing so much only on the science and math and the NASA, the physical, the so-called tangible shit within this so-called flat earth understanding. All that shit is going to come on its own. You already exist as that space. You ultimately, it's really egoic because it's ultimately happening already on its own. The flat earth science and all that shit and even your connection with spirit and your guides, that happens without you already doing anything. You are already that individual. You are already that energy. You already exist as that space. You already have and you forever will. So to turn it into a thing and call it truthers and all this other shit is a fucking movie that you are playing for yourself. It's bullshit. And when that bullshit gets downloaded as the reality, as the focus of truth and what we should be doing, because we can't look at the other side of reality where people are getting shot and killed on a regular basis, where people don't even realize that the white supremacy program exists, where people are not even realizing that the transhumanism program is out there guiding people off this technological cliff so they can have another grip on another layer of control of people's connections to spirit and their soul their soul purpose is to channel that energy into a technological black hole an empty an empty space a, a, a just like just give your power away to energies that you don't even know exist
This is why I vote. This is what voting all is. When you just vote and you just give your energy away, you're giving your power away to uh, a hopeless state of being. And there are multi layers of that space. It's an infrastructure program that that I'm referencing. It's not about the race. It's not about it, it's. It's not about like the the focus is not there. That is the 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 minute version. It's just like the physical reality, like this. The, when I speak about white supremacy and white privilege, that is the same the same references to like how the physical reality is as much of our reality as the non physical, like the point zero zero five percent of the physical reality of our experience that is about how focused uh, my intent is in relation to how far how, how far I'm rooted into the spiritual connections and the understandings of the mentality and the psychology of what these systems and programs represent how long they've been around how deeply they are ingrained in the system today. Just like this image says, it's not about one man. This is about structural racism in a country built on black slavery. Take each thing at a time. If you can't focus on if you can't focus on all of it at once, which you shouldn't be doing in the first place because it's too overwhelming. Understand one thing at a time at a time. Slavery existed. There was a very definite focus group of slaves in the United States. Yes, you can go further back into the slaves, the, the white slaves from Australia up to Asia. You can go to the slaves all the way back to other slaves going on. Back. What I'm talking about you have to go in order. That is the defense mechanism is to get, uh, oh, well, I know you are, but what am I? It's the victim program. It's to constantly deflect from the focus in order to just run away from the actual storyline and then distract and steal time. That is the program. Instead of actually intellectually addressing and focusing on these issues in order to transcend them, but first you have to fully understand them. And if people are still in denial about them, then that is a fucking problem. And nothing will ever change. And each individual has to figure out on their own how to address these issues. How they are going to... Some people aren't ready to face this stuff. Some people have to do other things in order to do whatever. My point being in that space is, well, don't get engaged with any kind of argument or any kind of uh, any kind of like defense mechanisms if you know you got work to do how the fuck are you gonna fight somebody else or defend something else uh, when you know you still working on shit like everybody's always working on stuff but to completely shut somebody else down based upon your own ignorance you have nothing you have no legs to stand on if you, we have to understand within our own space like how much we don't know yes you might know a lot of shit but equally important is how much you don't know and if you find yourself in a reactionary space talking about well I disagree with it well give yourself some fucking time to really Ponder that. Give other people some credit to that. Maybe they're not intending what you automatically, emotionally responded with. Ever think about that? The information that I share on this channel is for people to help to help people understand the existence of uh, webs, matrices, programs, systems that are systematically separated so that they won't be recognized and 
recognized for, as existing, let alone being connected. That is why I share this information on here. I don't have any judgments. I don't give a shit individually. I've already trans. I've already gone through all that emotional baggage that is attached to these these topics that I speak on. It's a constant process, but the majority of it, I won't allow myself to speak on this stuff unless I can speak on it from every single angle. These videos, these topics aren't just coming off or just just like, <clears throat> you know, I just thought about this the other day. This is my entire life. Focusing on this stuff within these last few years, this has been ongoing process. This is not new. This is a lifelong thing that people don't realize. They just see it from this linear perspective and say, oh, well, I just want to say this. I'm going to speak my piece and they're going to hear this. So a man takes six shots and his mugshot gets used. She kills a homeless man and her selfie gets used. This is what white privilege is about. They get from both angles. They get people not, they get people feeling sympathy for these individuals. And on the other side, they get people hating. It's a, it's a constant program, a constant psychological program. It is not a mistake. This is not new either. This is this is true. Like this is I've seen this. This is this is gone on within my own community. I've seen this shit. That is a psychological program that re relates directly to the supremacy program. These are examples of this shit. If you don't want to look at it from a race perspective, if you're not ready to go there, then start with looking at the government and the corporations and the media and the military and the police and you. Look at that shit. This is a chess game, a multi-layered chess game. Constantly. Mug shots. That was it. And this is, an, I'm glad I clicked over on this because this is this whole defense mechanism I mentioned in another video. The supremacy program you speak of is humans thinking they're superior to other humans and to animals. So we fight and kill. All unnecessary. Everything is backward. Fighting and killing is wrong. Completely desensitized. I did a whole fucking video about supremacy. And that was the response. And this is why, for the people still having difficulty with seeing why I come down so hard on the so-called flat earth community, is because there's a potential there to, set, to share so much more, to go so much further. But their own shit, their own ideas of themselves their own idea of what truth is will not allow them to go any further than their comfort zone so when i see that as existing and having a giant following of people behind them not to mention the potential of the other information that is in reference to the flat earth, like the indigenous perspectives and the understandings of the flat earth stuff. The potential there to talk about the other creation myths of the Aztecs and the Mayas and the, the Inca and the Navajo and the, the Vedic and the Kemetic information that is beyond the surface layer bullshit of NASA and the university system. There are so many layers that are so focused on this shallow ass bullshit that are missing the point in my perspective of how deep you can go and you are taking an entire collective an entire group of people down a road that has no foundations that is rooted only in illusion rooted in cancer rooted in separation 
rooted in an illusory program, a grid of separation. If you pay your energy into NASA and and the and the university program and all that st other stuff, instead of transcending out of that space, expanding out of the space, challenging yourself to think of some kind of space outside of the reactionary state of mind, outside of the the emotional grid, and going into the passionate con connection to spirit, the passionate connection to compassion and empathy for somebody who is not like you that is another space to help people expand from so yes if I'm talking about the flat earth stuff that's out there and I only understand it as flat because that's the only science and stuff that resonates to me right now because I know how full of shit NASA is and the government and all that other bullshit and I'm not concerned with the actual uh, science and, and, and math of it right now because there are so many other things that are more important. And also not to mention the fact that the people who are being slaughtered on a regular basis, once they get released from the grips of this psychological program that is being um, amplified by not paying attention to its existence... Once those people have have like a release, like a just imagine if that that whole thing was released right now, and we didn't have to deal with this stuff. We didn't have to deal with a white supremacy program. We didn't have to deal with white privilege and and the the, the control grid, the separation program, the military industrial complex, the prison industrial complex. How much of a relief? How much energy? How much joy? Passion? connection there would be if that stuff wasn't existing that is that is a bigger point that could be focused on but since people found these toys found the the horizon stuff and since people are uh, so scared of being alone so scared of working on their own they have to stay in these little communities these little groups these little new age groups these little flat earth community groups because they are afraid of looking internally in their own space and seeing how much further they can go because they don't want to lose their friends they don't want to lose this they don't want to lose that and because these individuals don't want to lose that other people will consistently be dying and getting shot and killed based upon these agendas and programs on the streets because people are, uh, they, they're afraid of being vulnerable in their own space. Afraid of looking inward and seeing how this shit is being reflected outward. That's a scary place. And until you can let go of that fear, then you'll just be perpetrating the same old programs on a different fashion. From the micro to the macro. So when people address me linearly, like I'm talking about race, that's you're talking about the point zero zero one percent of reality. When I'm actually talking about the rest of reality, I'm not talking about. I'm not saying all white people are bad. I never said anything like that. Shit doesn't fucking exist in my mentality. That's just absurd. It's just fucking stupid, and it's a it's a distraction from the actual systematic program that is beyond that linear perspective of, of lack of understandings. I'm talking about the infrastructure itself. It is beyond any kind of individual thing. Now, in order to help people see that the infrastructure exists, then you can utilize terms like white and white privilege and white supremacy and so on to see that this goes down to the soul level, to the control grid. I'm talking about, I'm referencing on a regular basis, the birth certificate program, where you put your baby's feet in ink and stamp them on a birth certificate. The soles of their feet, these are soul hoarders. This is a program, this is a magic that people are unaware of on very, very many levels. And there's a lot of information out there.
that we could be unraveling and sharing with people. That's pretty much all I got to say about this right now. I just wanted to kind of get a little, go back to my old style of videos and just share some images along with um, what I'm feeling right now so people can really see where I'm coming from and, uh, and uh, I go beyond this stuff. Go internally beyond the linear perspectives and, and the attacks and all that other shit. Go beyond that space. Go bigger than that. You're smarter than that. You can go beyond that. You have more potential than, than these spaces. So, that's basically it. Thank you for joining me. And until next time, from all my relations, peace, love, and harmony.